Oh. All right. So let me talk a bit about about Singapore Airlines now and uh, take you through through their journey. Well, you all know Singapore Airlines, I guess, uh, to, to mention. So in Singapore Airlines, we are talking about the transformation that has been lasting for, for three, four years. Uh, we have not been involved from the very beginning, but we get uh, involved for with them about two years, two years ago, a bit more than two years ago, and, uh, and started. So initially, it was carried by the IT department. So we are talking in the IT department, we talk about 1,200 people. But the, the objective of SIA, despite being sponsored by uh, the uh, CIO, was to perform a transformation, a digital transformation that goes far beyond IT. Singapore Airlines did not see Agile for IT, but was looking at Agile for the digital part of the business, right? And we are talking about, in total, uh, about 2,000 people when we include uh, the business side, right? So 13 business units in the perimeter. So just for, for you to give you a bit of, of history about how they came uh, to that. So they, in 2016, uh, they started to do some pilots and they were looking at different ways of working. Uh, in particular for their uh, for their mobile platform. So they had this, uh, this mobile app and the mobile platform. And what they did is they, they started to move this platform into Agile. And in particular, they moved with uh, extreme programming. They worked with a partner that was mainly tool and technology oriented. So what they had is this partner brought developers. And uh, in the team, we had half of the developers from SIA, half of the developers from the partner and they brought all the tooling and so on, and they started to work together on this. It was good, at least from the, from the business perspective, uh, the business units were very happy with the results and the engagement into the agile process. And they saw this being really the future for SIA uh, in order to better involve business and find better fit for purpose uh, application features and so on. So very successful. Uh, and then from that moment, they decided that the experiment that they did uh, on this platform should be extended to the whole organization. And that's where we came in. So in, in SIA, you have four commercial BUs, business units, right? So every the guys that are the cargo, right, for, for, for the freight, you have a, a commercial, you have a marketing, and so on. So you have commercial BUs. You have more support BUs, right? HR, finance, uh, etc. So I mentioned that already. So just just now zooming a little bit on a few things, I was talking about an agile framework. So what it is that we we did all, all together in uh, in SIA. So as I mentioned, we redefined kind of the framework. Okay, uh, we documented a little bit some of the key roles, responsibilities, and so on. We we designed a new organization, I will come back on it, and we documented it, uh, the key major processes and so on, right? And then some of the processes for the way of working, uh, a database of indicators for measuring performance and for measuring uh, outcome, for creating dashboard. The whole new way of working has been documented. Uh, again, we talk about a large organization with a lot of uh, need for audits, for regulation, compliance so we are talking about a defined way of working okay one of the key things we have done with uh, in this context is to transform the organization from project to product right so like many traditional organization uh, singapore airline was structured into uh, a set of every year a strategy that comes up with uh, that is transformed into projects so a portfolio of project that is managed together by business, IT, and so on. Everything was project-oriented. And what we have done is to identify uh, product-based teams uh, that are stable teams, as you know, for Agile, right? So stable product-based teams. And of course, it's a challenge to talk about products when you have so many uh, business units and so big things. So for, to give you a bit of a scale, huh, we have created actually a little bit more than uh, 130 separate teams, right? And all these teams, they are long lasting teams. And so a big transformation of the way of thinking about the work. So of course, this 
three in 130 team cannot be just uh, working by themselves. It has to it has to be some structure here. The organizational pattern that we have used uh, comes from the Spotify model, but I'm sure you most of you know, right? It's based on vertical stream, right? Vertical teams that are a bit like feature teams, but extended to the business level. So you have tribes that are connected to the business and that are delivering uh, value for one given business area, right? And then within the tribe, you can split that into different squads. And we have also some what we call enablers in the, in the tribe, IT infra, security, agile coaches, architects, some capabilities that are brought to, to, to help the squads. And the squads, they are really agile teams, right? They would either use Kanban, uh, whatever model, when we have products with multiple squads, we might use some Scrum or Scrum or a bit of less. Well, huh? The framework doesn't matter too much. The way we have structured Singapore Align is, well, one of the key objectives of the transformation in Singapore Align is to be customer centric. So what we have done is that we have mapped the organizational design on the customer journey. So on this slide, you have an example of what I'm talking about. So. On top, you have the overall travel experience. Okay, everybody, uh, all airline will work this way. In the customer service experience, you have everything related to booking and checking. Okay, you book, uh, you book your ticket, then you, you do your check-in when you arrive at the, uh, uh, before you, you go to the airport, right? You, and then you have the airport experience. Everything from the moment you come into the airport to the moment you board the plane is what is called the airport experience. It is that then squads or set of squads, sometimes multiple squads, will be structured on different experiences within the airport experience. So when you are at the airport, you do your check-in, you might go to the lounge, you might, uh, you might have your, your luggage, okay, etc., etc. So each of our team becomes specialized on one piece of experience of a customer. So I've got one team, or with maybe multiple squads, huh? one team that is specialized on the launch, everything related to customer experience on the launch. And then this team, they will push whatever is needed in terms of digital uh, capabilities into our, our platform and uh, IT landscape. So the organization design look pretty, uh, uh, pretty Spotify uh, type of thing. Huh? So you have vertical squads, Okay, then we organize lateral communities for chapters, right? So chapters are community of practice, right? So UX people, product owner chapter, some business process expertise and so on. And we have these enablers that are people that are going to help the different squad. They are not directly members of the squad, but they are here to help the squad uh, delivering their, their, their work. So, the first thing we had to do, and that was interesting with, uh, with Singapore Airlines, is that very quickly the top management, the CEO of say, Singapore Airlines, while we are, uh, was doing a training for the board on, on HI, he very quickly uh, addressed the problem of, okay, if we want to go to product, if we want to go into an agile way of working, we're going to have to change our way of thinking in terms of portfolio management, strategic thinking and also financing okay and how we are doing the finance and the budgeting it needs to change because we are talking about teams right so when you talk about project your resources they go you allocate resources and you free resources when you talk about product you have constant capacity so you need to shift completely the way you are going to finance and resource the work so we completely transform uh, the process of doing uh, the strategic uh, the strategic planning with the business units, right? So we change that into a product portfolio management approach, right? With a, a cycle of negotiation and prioritization of initiatives and uh, and work to optimize, uh, but we work on fixed capacity. So that's that's what the new uh, the new uh, business budgeting the budgeting process look like. All right, with a very regular quarterly uh, review of the budget, right? So kind of lean budgeting type of aspects, right? Uh, and we completely transform this and coach finance, but leaders from the business units and so on in, in applying 
uh, this kind of approach, introducing new tools for portfolio management and so on and so forth. And of course, implementing this, we also had to completely change the way uh, the company, the, the governance of the company. So from top board down to uh, steering committees of uh, stuff, we introduce new ways of managing the work and managing the, the progress towards outcome. You remember what 96% of company, they fail to the agile transformation, delivering actual business outcome. So what we have really put in place is a shift of mindset where managers are not here to manage resources. So the money and the people and so on, but managers are shifting into monitoring, helping the, the teams and so on to deliver more outcome, more benefits. And you, you know the difference between output and outcome. Output is the deliverable. Outcome is the benefits of the deliverable. So really a big uh, shift from the management perspective in stop thinking resources, money, and so on. Anyway, we don't have to think about it anymore because we are fixed capacity. So now I have fixed amount of resources and therefore money that is invested. The investment is done. Then the question is, what can I do with this? Right? What can I do with my capacity to optimize value for business? And of course, their role is also to shift capacity if needed between different priorities. So this is the overall uh, governance structure of SIA now, right? with different committees. So on top, what you see here is the board, right? Uh, the top there is the board, is the CEO on his direct report. And below that, you have some committees uh, that are uh, at the executive VP, right, level. There are three main areas. And then the more we come down, we get to the level of uh, the tribes. So tribe is a group of about 50, 60 people. And then as you get down here, you can see we get into more operational work. So the agile delivery model, I don't want to, to get too much uh, there, but uh, classical uh, mix of uh, XP, uh, Scrum, uh, Kanban, and uh, different uh, portfolio management. We took, we picked some ideas from Safe, we picked some ideas from uh, Less, Scrum of Scrum, whatever. The practice, the framework is not important. What is important, it's like ingredients, right? When you cook, what is important is how you put the ingredients together and don't put too much of this and not enough of that. And that's what we are, right? We agile coach, we are cook. We are here to help the company to make its own recipe. Uh, 